Hello, ladies, and happy Mother's Day. I just want to come on today and just encourage you guys this morning. No matter what stage of life you are in, God has given us some extraordinary gifts as women. And I have a few things here that I have written down, and I'm going to read some of these off uh, just so that I get everything out that I wanted to say and I don't forget anything because you guys are amazing. You are amazing creatures that God has created. And from the youngest of us to the oldest of us, God has placed some awesome gifts in us. And one of those gifts is to be a guardian of the heart, okay? As women, we have an amazing power to strengthen and to encourage others. And when we do this, we are strengthened and encouraged ourselves. When we speak life, when we speak empowerment to others, it, it encourages us and it builds up our own self when we do that. We, we don't deny that people have weaknesses. We don't deny that they have flaws. But instead of focusing on that flaws, let's shift our words and our mindsets and start speaking strength to those weaknesses and start speaking life to those places. It's also within us to be a nurturer. And that is one of the inerrant things, and we see that from the youngest to the oldest, the youngest playing with her baby dolls, and she's, um, she's nurturing. And you see it with even the oldest of us when we have our grandchildren or our spiritual grandchildren, and it just gives us a delight and a joy, and you see that in their faces. So it's within our nature to be nurturers, to take that which is weak and broken and help restore it. And that's what our Father has done for us. He's taken what it was weak and what was broken, and he has restored it and made it whole. As a daughter, we're poised with power to build and raise and restore. You can be an answer for those who are searching for a resolution and restoration. The Lord has given you the power to restore broken paths that connect broken places because we're relational creatures and that's the way he created us to be. So that gives us great influence and great power to connect relationships and connect things that have been broken. Proverbs 31, 26 says, she opens her mouth with wisdom and on her tongue is the law of kindness. You open your mouth with wisdom and on your tongue is the law of kindness. You, no matter what stage of life you're in, yield a great power to use your words that come from your heart, which reflects the Father's heart, to use those words to speak life into others, to speak restoration and healing. And that's truly a gift of women. And you are powerful when you speak those words of life. You are powerful when you speak words of life. Proverbs also tells us that life and death are in the power of the tongue. So when you're speaking life, you're powerful. Don't ever um, negate or um, downplay the power of your words because they truly build others up because people as, look to us as women to be nurturers. So they take our words seriously, especially when we're speaking to our children or our spiritual children, your words have power. I encourage you never to take for granted your power as a woman, your power to build, to nurture, to strengthen, to heal, to restore. God created you to be beautifully you, and nobody is better at being you than you. So today, be blessed in the Lord. Be blessed that you are a woman full of purpose, power, and incredible strength. You captivate the heart of your Father, and He is enthralled with your beauty. And He desires to move through you in your unique gifts as a woman. As a woman. Embrace your design as a feminine creature. I encourage you to embrace your calling as a nurturer, whether it's to natural children or spiritual children, and know that your Father in heaven, he loves you fiercely, and he protects you fiercely. Sometimes it's hard for us to let down our walls and be able to love and nurture the way that God created us to do, but he is there to love you fiercely and to protect you fiercely. 
and to hold you and your heart when it gets wounded because we cannot let down our walls and be vulnerable and never expect to be in a place where our feelings might get hurt. So I just wanna encourage you that God placed those gifts in you and he did it for a purpose and he did it for a reason and he is not going to just leave you there all alone for you to deal with things all by yourself. He is there for you and he loves you. So this morning, I just encourage you, be the woman that you are called to be. Be the daughter of the king that you are called to be because when you step in that place, you are powerful and you are a force to be reckoned with and the enemy cannot stop you. So Father, this morning, I just thank you for these women that are watching, Lord. I thank you that as these words go forth, Lord, that they, they, um, they encourage and they build up the hearts of women, Lord. And I thank you this morning for a boldness and a courage to step out and do the things that you have called us to do, for us to be the women that you have called us to be. Father, I thank you for that this morning, and I just speak blessings and life and strength and courage and boldness to the women in Jesus' name.